How you doing getting that first shotgun shell out of the way? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I thought it was going to be a pull tab because it was like 45. So. Well, hey everybody, that's how we begin as usual here in New Hampshire. Digging shotgun shells. So we are at our destination, which is a cellar hole. It's myself, Buenos, as you saw. Digger Dame. And uh, we're going to get down on this. Hopefully, we will find some stuff, so stay tuned. Well, that's the proper way to start out. Yeah, pewter spoon handle. It's a, it's a tiny one. Very nice. Yes, and as you can see, I'm in my element of where other people tend not to go. Right, we're on some public land and there's dig holes everywhere. But as you can see, Dame is already off to a good start. Baby pewter spoon yep. hole. I don't have my box to... Oh, it means you're gonna find lots of things. Maybe. Good job. So, you see that cleared spot? I just kicked it aside. My signal was gone, which sounded like... that. So my eyeballs tracked the trail that I kicked, and I went, no! Look at this. I kicked a button right out of the leaf cover. So that's how I start. Kicked out button right from the leaves. Buenos, your first, other than the shotgun. A hinge. Very nice. Yeah, it's got some good barnacles going on. Yeah. Still in good shape though. We nice. love we love fixtures. That's right. Good. Tools of the trade for putting things together. There you go. It's a building staple. That's right. Oh, he's going, ah. What you ah and about? Ah, ah, ah. I'm three feet away from where I dug the pewter spoon handle. We got us a little thimble. Right in the cave in of the lip. Wow, that's actually a pretty big thimble. Wow, very good. Yes. Do you recall what it rung up on that? Uh, it was like a 62 and super snappy. I heard the snap. Wait, wait, wait. How'd it go? Wait, 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 wait. That's what I thought. <laughs> Well, I would have filmed the signal, but I'm, yeah, I'm caught in it. Anyways, pewter spoon bowl. That's what's left of it. Looks like here's where the neck was. And judging by the color of it, I pulled it out of here. It was not even in my plug. It was just barely under the leaf coverage again. So, cool. So, this is the barn, or what was the barn. I said to Wayne, I said, you know, if you get a hanker in for pork chops, I'll meet you over by the barn, we'll go swinging. You called it. That was a two for one. Beautiful though. Yep. Yeah, I love the knife. It's complete except for the handle that, that broke off or right. that brought it off. Right. Both in the same hole. Does that, wrong does that satisfy your pork chop? Uh, we'll have to see. Pretty. You know, it's one of those things you you don't necessarily enjoy the thirty fourth or fifth one for the day, but the <laughs> Just first like couple anything. are exciting. Yeah. yeah, he's right in the actually the corner yep. of the foundation of the barn. <laughs> that was cool though, a two pair. Yeah, actually really good. I like that knife. That's oh, an ass neck. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Three tosses. 
That's a tiny toss. <laughs> well, that is a rather large signal. Ears on. I do. I just dug a hatchet head. Nice. Is that a sight? Not sure. Stand by for one second. Let me segue here. I'm on orbit. I just came up back and there's a massive hole in the ground, but there's no rock line or anything. I just walked up and dug that hatchet head, so let me swing for another second and uh, see what, what this is. Nothing. Yeah, I just swung all the way around it. There's no iron. It almost makes me wonder if it was uh, from loggers or something for whatever reason. Copy that. So I'll head back down. Hm. Interesting, nevertheless. Button in the bushes. Or the bracken. Sounds like a Cars album. <laughs> Moving stereo. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some light here. It's a strange thing. Any uh, chickens on that? <laughs> I, they were chewed off by moose or something. Right. <laughs> Still. Might be something stamped right there. So, huh. Yeah. Oh, iron. iron spoon. Wow. Yeah. And a little square tack buckle as well in the front door yard. Uh, between here and the uh, the well. Good. So this place is signalless. There are signals here and diggable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, right on. All right. So before we get onto the fresh find, you're up another oxen shoe. Another oxen shoe, and uh, well, this is the second one. And then I also found a Colonial Dorito. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and for the fresh find. Nice. Yep. Still got most of the back to it. It was down there quite a ways. Good, because mostly we've been behind the house. That rang up just like the shotgun shell. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, same numbers on that. Uh, That's why you got to dig the shotgun shells. 1800 stuff rings up just like that. So, yeah, we haven't spent any time in the front yard, but it's no. nice and small, so. Yeah, so I figured I'd just kind of snake my way through here and... Yeah, do it again. Yeah, maybe I'll be like the spoon again. All right, now what do you got? Another iron spoon bowl. Wow, that's five today so far. Yeah. That was right next to the other one? Uh, six feet behind me, over here. Beautiful. All right, Dame just dug something we haven't seen in a long time. An aluminum wedge. Number eight. It's a number eight, yeah. Rang up a 94 on the F-19. <laughs> so I was intrigued. Yeah. And it sounded tight and small, but it, it, it's not. It's probably worth a few bucks at the Redemption Center, too. And not it, that you'd it, turn it in. It's but... light for its weight. Oh. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, I'll pack it out because it weighs nothing. Right. Very cool. Hey. All right, Duenos, I came over because I heard you tickling. Yep, we got ourselves a button. Excellent. No shank, but that's okay. Hey, shanks for the memories. That's right. <laughs> shanks for the memories. <laughs> it's ping pong with these guys. <laughs> It's a oh, wow! Fancy iron suspension. You got fancy iron suspension or sashi buckle. Wow! Yeah, and it's got uh, stuff on the back. It's got uh, gear. Wow! Yeah. Impressive because we've already been around the lip a few times. Yeah. It was a, it was angle. I, I decided to swoop. Yeah. As you guys can see, it's it's a mess. It's tough. In here. But awesome. it's worth it. That was awesome. 
So as, as, see, slipperage. As we keep circling the pit and sliding in, I can faintly hear Jabba laughing at me <laughs> as we circle the Sarlacc pit. This is brutal. Incredibly unstable lift. Yeah, it's slick too. Well, that might just be sheet metal. I really couldn't get a good swing at it because I'm slipping and sliding away like Paul Simon. All right, so I'm coming through this stuff, talking to Dame, and I swing over something, I'm talking to Dame. I kick the leaves aside. I start to dig my plug, as you can see, and I look down. That is a neck to a spoon. And once again, right under the leaves. So like Dame said, somebody probably dug it and didn't want it for whatever reason. But I'll take it. Huh, more. Yep, the handle. We won't toss that one because it's part of the one I just dug. But there we go. Britannia metal. So you guys want to take the orbit down the side of the road? Yeah, why not? When we walked in, it was we overshot. And it was beautiful, and we've done everything we can do here. It's just thick. So we want to go see what's down the the way. Maybe we'll dumb luck on our orbit out. burnt coal in the road or something huh it's very light let me swing that again space rock gotta be yeah that's what it was it was ringing up a chirpy 46 solid huh. come on Wayne I'll finish this up good here yeah I don't have high hopes for it because the target is big. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> the high life. That's right. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is. We're in the high life now. It's the champagne of beers, you know. That's right. We're back in the high life again. <laughs> so we're making our way down and out. This guy, he'll fall for anything. Or at least he'll fall for any signal. As FG would always say, I'll fall for it. Right? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, another one for the plethora. <laughs> now my count's up to three for today. <laughs> you just can't walk by them. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright. This is probably my last of the day. I'm gonna go with, uh, casing of some sort. Dame? Modern small change. Modern small change. Buenos? I'm going to say dandy button. Dandy? Wow. Close to that 70 mark. Shooting for the moon. Yeah, why not? You yeah. guys, what do you think? Top of an old can. Six inches deep. Oh, not bad for the road. All right, everybody, that's it. We spent a couple hours at the cellar hole. We did very good considering. We didn't know where we were going to go today. <laughs> we didn't know where we were going to go today. <laughs> Chose some public land. It's already been hit. We did good. We just spent an hour walking around and dug a moon rock, another oxen shoe, and pull tabs. So that's it. We'll see you guys soon. Until next time, stay young. Always keep them guessing. Keep that coil to the ground and be patient. Live free or die, folks. That's right.